duckling. But you want me to read that little duckling to you? I'd be happy to. Illustrated by the ugly duckling. <laughs> Illustrated by Paulina Loveson. Um, the ugly duckling. It was a warm summer's day, and Mommy Duck wrinkled with excitement on her nest. She could hear tapping noises. Tap, 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 tap. Quick, quack, quick. Mommy Duck calls to the other ducks. My eggs are hatching. Come and see. One by one, the eggs hatched and popped out six chirpy little ducklings. Cheep, 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 cheep. Oh, what duck, the other duckling sighed. What sweet little ducklings. Mommy Duck beamed with pride. But the biggest egg of all still hadn't opened. Mommy Duck was sure she only had laid, laid six eggs. Crack! Then the final egg burst open. Oh, Mommy Duck gasped. The last duckling wasn't yellow or cute. He was enormous, gray, and, well, ugly. What an ugly duckling, quacked the old duck. He's not ugly, said the mama duck protectively. He's special. The next day, mama duck took her little ducklings to, out to the farmyard to meet the other animals. The six yellow ducklings proudly puffed their pretty feathers. Ah, sighed the animals. What lovely ducklings. The ugly duckling waddled forward. forward. Hello, he said quietly. Everyone turned to stare at him. He's so gray, neighed the horse. He's so clumsy, mooed the cow. He's so Big squawked the hen. Large teardrops rolled down the ugly duckling's face. Long, his long black beak, he felt all alone. Nobody wants me, he whispered. I'd be better off swimming away. The poor little duckling waddled sadly across the meadow leaving the farm and his family far behind. Soon, the ugly duckling came to the river and got some geese, and there were some geese diving for food. Excuse me, the ugly duckling began bravely. Have you seen the, any ducklings like me? No, you're the strangest looking duckling we've ever seen, geese the honks. The geese haunt. <laughs> so the ugly duckling kept waddling, and he was getting very tired. As darkness fell, he creeped inside an old barn, looking for a place to rest. May I stay here? He asked the animals inside. Can you lay eggs? Chucked the hen. No, he said the ugly duckling. Said the ugly duckling. Can you catch mice? Purred the cat. I don't think so, said the ugly duckling. Then you're no use here, the cat hissed. The ugly duckling quickly waddled away and he kept going until he came into a large lake. If nobody wants me, then I'll just hide away here forever, he sniffed sadly. Ribbit, croaked a frog. What a funny looking duckling. Fall came and the leaves turned to gold. One evening, just as the sun was setting, the ugly duckling saw a flock of beautiful white birds lying gracefully across the sky. I wish I looked like them, he sighed. All through the long winter, the ugly duckling hid in the reeds, ashamed to show his face. The first rays of warming spring sh sunshine arrived. The ugly duckling peered out of his hiding place. A graceful swan paddled by him, and he backed away because he was afraid he would get teased. But the ugly ducklings surprised, surprised the swan. 
swam up to him. Why are you hiding here? Asked the swan. Asked the swan kindly. Join the rest of us. The ugly duckling was shocked. Surely the swan must be taking talking to someone else. But then he caught a sight of his reflection in the lake. He stared a gasp of amazement. Of amazement. His his gray feathers were now snow white. I'm a swan. The ugly duckling cried happily. Just then, a family of six young ducks waddled by the riverbank with his mother. Look at the beautiful swan! They cracked. Mommy duck recognized her little ugly duckling at once. I always knew you were special. She quacked. The ugly duckling ruffled, ruffled his beautiful white feathers and turned away as proud and puddled, paddled after his new friend. The end. Hope you like it. See you next time. <coughs>